again. Transferrin cannot transport ferrous iron. It can only transport ferric iron. So here is one of the ways in which if there's a copper deficiency, and I'll, and I'll come back to this in, this in a bit, if there's a copper deficiency, then you may not have enough ceruloplasmin. If you don't have enough ceruloplasmin, you can't convert the ferrous to ferric form of iron. And I'll tell you that the body is looking for that form. It's looking for the ferric form. If it doesn't see it, it treats it as an iron deficiency. And everything on the lab will basically look the same as an iron deficiency anemia. The iron is technically there, but not in the form that it recognizes and needs. And therefore it will, and I'll show you, it will make it look like, it will make it look like an iron deficiency anemia because it, to the body, yes, it's there, but not in the form it needs. So it doesn't recognize it. So it's looking for the kind that it does recognize and the body treats it as an iron deficiency anemia, all because it was copper in the first place. Now